Objective To study about the respiration mechanism of respiration. Breathing is a means of maximizing the exchange of gases. The movement of air into and out of the lungs is carried out by creating a pressure gradient between the lungs and the atmospheric air. Human beings exhibit negative pressure breathing as inspiration occurs when the pressure in the lungs is less than the atmospheric pressure. Expiration occurs when the intrapulmonary pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure. Breathing involves the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles. Inspiration Taking of atmospheric air into the lungs is known as inspiration. Inspiration is an active process as it takes place by the contraction of the muscles of the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles. This leads to an increase in the thoracic volume and air from the outside is sucked into the lungs. Expiration Release of alveolar air to the outside is known as expiration. It is a passive process as it takes place by the relaxation of the muscles of the diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles. A normal healthy adult breathes 12 to 16 times per minute at rest. During the breathing cycle, when air is taken in and let out, the lungs always contain a residual volume of air so that there is sufficient time for oxygen to be absorbed and for the carbon dioxide to be released. When the body size of the animal is large, the diffusion pressure alone is not sufficient for the delivery of oxygen to all parts of the body. Respiratory pigments are present in such animals to take up oxygen in the lungs and carry it to the tissues. If diffusion were to move oxygen in our body, it would take three years for a molecule of oxygen to reach our toes from our lungs. The respiratory pigment present in our blood is hemoglobin. It contains iron and has a very high affinity for oxygen. It is present in the red blood corpuscles. It transports oxygen in the form of oxyhemoglobin to the tissues. Carbon dioxide is more soluble in water than oxygen. Hence, it is mostly transported in the dissolved form in the body. Activity Observe the fish in an aquarium. They open and close their mouths and gill slits, or the operculum that covers their gill slits on each side, behind their eyes. It can be observed that the opening and closing of their mouths and gills are coordinated and rhythmic. Count the number of times the fish opens and closes its mouth in a minute. Compare this to the number of times you breathe in and out in a minute. It is observed that the frequency of breathing in the fishes is more than ours. This is because the amount of oxygen present in the water is far less than in the atmospheric air. Hence, aquatic animals have to breathe more frequently than terrestrial ones.